Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Yasser Hagazi. I am the Dean of the Faculty of IET and the Acting Dean of the Faculty of EMS. Okay, thank you. <laughs> First of all, I would like to welcome all of you for the orientation session. Um, you have made the most important choice مش سامعين عشان الناس بتتكلم ما هي دي مشكله لو سكتنا يا جماعه كلنا هنسمع فلو سمحتوا يا ريت نسكت خالص عشان نبدا وكلنا نسمع As I said you've already made the difficult choice by selecting engineering as your major and this is, by the way, the most appropriate choice. Now, you, you've come to the more difficult and more challenging choice, which is the major choice. Which faculty you should go for? Why this is the most difficult? Because you will add to your title as an engineer another important title, your specialization. يا جماعة لو سمحتوا اللي بيتكلم أو شايف إن الكلام اللي بنقوله مش مهم ممكن يستأذن ويتفضل يسيب المكان. Please, as I said, now you have many choices and you have to decide. Which major you should go for is one of the most important decisions in your life. Why? Because it will determine for you what career opportunities you will have, what jobs will be offered to you. This session is mainly to help you in taking your own decision. We are not here to promote one faculty over the, over the other. We are just here to give you some information to give you or to answer your questions regarding the different faculties and the different majors. At the end, you will have an idea about each faculty, what's being taught in the faculty, what are the career opportunities, and you are the one who should decide at the end. You have enough time to think, you have enough time to consult your professors, and you have to come to a decision that you feel satisfied with and <clears throat> give you the enthusiasm to go for the next years, inshallah. By the end of today's session, you'll be able to know the information about the faculties and you will take some time to decide. What are the basics of this decision? How you decide? I will personally advise you to take into consideration the career opportunities and at the same time your own passion. What do you like? What do you feel happy when you study? And this is the most important part because you will spend your life doing this job and you will spend your life in the future gaining knowledge in the same field. Then you have to be happy while doing this. I'm not going to take more time as an introduction, but I will give you an idea about the agenda of today's session. After this introduction, we will start the introduction of the Faculty of Engineering and Material Science. The faculty has three majors, Materials Engineering, Design and Production, and Mechatronics Engineering. So each major will give you highlights of the department and the activities that you will find there. Then we will follow by IET, and MIT will be the third faculty at four. So before we, before we start the introduction of the faculty of EMS, please allow me to introduce the professors of the faculty. Professor 
السيد إمام مرجان Head of Mechatronics Engineering Department and Vice Dean for Academic Affairs as well. Professor Ahmed Abdelaziz, Vice Dean for Students Affairs and the Head of Materials Engineering. <laughs> okay, um, EMS Engineering and Material Science has three measures. Mechatronics Engineering, Materials Engineering, Engineering Design and Production, okay? One of these measures are Oh, one of these measures is materials engineering, which I am going to present today. Now I want to ask you, what do you know about materials engineering or what materials engineering is going to do in the future? I will uh, show you some uh, like videos about materials engineering and new technologies nowadays that in the future we don't need X-ray scan or any techniques which can harm the body. This is just simple. Here, this sheet is plastic sheets or polymer sheets made by materials engineer. And you can see how he scan himself. ideas which we can get nowadays is the fast train. The fastest train where you can reach 530 kilometers per hour is called mag levated train. It is mainly made from magnets and this is high quality and high permanent magnet, high magnetic field. It's made by materials engineer and there are two trains in the world, Japanese train, this is the one where they depend on attractive force and German trains, they are dependent on repulsive force. Look carefully here, he bought the magnet over the train, over the magnet, this train is very fast, this is the Japanese train, it can reach 580 kilometers per hour. That means if you are uh, constructing such a train here between Alexandria and Cairo, you should think just you enter that you will go out in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. The German one is dependent on attractive force and he will show you here uh, just a model how they design it. They depend on the electrical field which is applied to the magnet to make it repulsive and attractive. Attraction force. Inside it just materials, permanent magnet materials made by materials engineer. It's mainly the idea, he applies just the current. And as you see here, it is like hanged and he can bust his hand. There is no friction, this is why this train is very fast. The last videos before I start the real slides here, uh, materials. We call it self-healing material. Just assume you are shaving your beard in the morning and you just cut a piece of uh, the skin. What will happen is if you have such self-healing uh, self material, you can in few seconds, even in nanosecond, you can repair your skin. And here he, he tried to use it in military action. He cut such tank by this material, self-healing material, and another tank without it. And he will uh, shoot down both of the tanks and he will see what will happen. This is without coating, without self-healing coating. The second one now, which is an amazing coating process. Look carefully, he will shoot now. It is self-healing, just a very thin film. And he look now more clear.
this R is a shooting. What I am going to do now is to give you a brief about materials engineering and what, uh, what is our uh, scope and focus and the internship and bachelor and our graduate where they are. Look, in uh, our uh, curricula, we have first uh, basic courses in classical materials, mainly metallic, polymers, and ceramics. And then when you reach the ninth semester, we will have more advanced courses, namely about nanotechnology, biomaterials, renewable energies. So if you are interested to go such a field, you can select uh, elective courses in these three focuses. Our curricula are accredited from the German uh, a queen as well from the Egyptian side. So you, if you are managing or you're planning to go to Germany, you are welcome there as you are accepted and you can continue even in any of uh, uh, universities worldwide, not only in Germany. Bachelor thesis can be also uh, for the top ranked student in Stuttgart, in uh, Karlsruhe, in Ulm University, in uh, Hochschule, Ulm also, and uh, in uh, TU Klausthal. In many of the universities in, in Germany, you can do your uh, bachelor there. These are some of the application of materials in different uh, fields, like you uh, can see here in uh, engine. An engine block, for example, for wind energy as renewable energy, in uh, cell phone, in uh, biomaterials, in herd, and here is robotic. Even you can now, a smart material to change the color of the car, and uh, in bio, as biomaterial here, rockets, high temperature material, and also you can process and you can make your own uh, material. Our students, they have the ability to do their internship and also um, our employees, they, ca they have uh, a chance and they already working in these uh, companies, national and international. For example, in Siemens, we have some of students nowadays that are working there in Nissan and all. If we just make a statistical about our uh, graduates, we see around 36% um, are working in industry, 31 with their parents, with their own industry, and uh, we have still 12% without a job or seeking a job. These are the location where they are, in Gulf, in Egypt, in uh, Europe, in... Uh, America and Canada. And here we have something called extracurricular. This is something uh, training like and uh, visit industry and sometimes uh, research. Sorry. With a research group, we have some units for research here in uh, uh, materials engineering where you, if you are interested, you can join such a research group. And uh, from this uh, work, some of the students have visited already some international uh, conferences and also workshops. I will show you now just one example about what the student made. This is a material called sober hydrophobic. يعني كاريها للمية in another word and you can see here the one in the right side the one in the right side is coated by such uh, materials sober hydrophobic material you can see here is uh, also another two uh, screws they are going inside some uh, nuts or oils the left one is coated by this material we have here a very interesting lab in uh, the base C5 you will see a lot of machines inside if you are going to visit. This is in C5 base. We have uh, two labs, one for testing, uh, destructive testing, and another for uh, material like uh, polymers and ceramics and coating. 
So you, if you are interested, you can uh, visit this lab. Okay, uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank you for, I don't want to say attention, because most of you are very crowded, actually. But anyway, you're welcome. I hope you'll be silent like your sound now. Anyway, if you are interested, we are uh, sitting in CE7, me in 104, and my colleagues beside me, materials engineer professor, are in CE7. Thank you so much. I am uh, Professor Imam Morgan. Okay. I am the head of mechatronics department and the vice dean for academic affairs. Now we will present for you what's going on in the department of design and the production engineering technology. This will be presented by Dr. Mohammed Harras. Okay, uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mohammed Haraz. I am an assistant professor at the Faculty of Engineering and Material Science at the Department of Engineering, Design, and Production Technology. Uh, today, I'm going to make a short presentation about uh, the department, about the major of uh, the engineering, design, and production technology. And this presentation will contain an introduction to the program of engineering design and production technology. Uh, what are the main and elective courses that you are taking? And also, uh, what are the facilities available here at the GUC that you have access to? And also, your career opportunities and your future uh, uh, value as a graduate. Okay, this program focuses on collaborative research that produces innovation. It is designed for preparing students for huge technical and practical real-world applications. For example, uh, graduates are prepared to apply scientific and technological methodologies to practical and industrial problems using engineering skills. Uh, they should have intensive knowledge in mechanics, engineering design, manufacturing process, and materials processing and uh, acquire the technical background for immediate entry into industry so they are able to design, develop, and manufacture products using state-of-the-art technology and techniques and possess the intellectual and rational resources they will need to prosper in society. Uh, what are the main uh, courses offered? We have actually uh, different categories. The first category is related to the engineering design. In this case, we have uh, different courses like engineering drawing, machine drawing with CAD, engineering design, mechanics of machines and machine tool design, design of jigs and fixtures, and also students by the end of the semesters, they have the option and the opportunity to choose uh, some, some elective courses like design for manufacturing, design optimization, reverse engineering, uh, plastic dye and mold design, and also robotics. The second category of uh, the department is focusing mainly on courses from manufacturing and production engineering. In this case, uh, students are learning different manufacturing uh, techniques like material removal, casting, welding and joining, metal forming process, and also non-conventional manufacturing. Uh, the other part of the production engineering is related mainly to industrial engineering courses. These are quality control, technical measurements, engineering economy, production and operation management, and also facility planning. And there is a third category related to comp computer integrated, computer aided engineering. And here students uh, also learn different softwares and applications to engineering applications like uh, CAD CAM, manufacturing system design and simulation, uh, CIM, computer integrated manufacturing, and also finite elements. Uh, production, we have some facilities that uh, students have access to during the semesters, during different courses. For example, the workshop with a variety of basic production techniques and skilled technicians. Uh, such techniques uh, include turning, milling, uh, welding, casting, uh, metal, uh, sheet metal work, 
Uh, also, uh, you, you will have access to the CAD lab where you will learn different uh, softwares like AutoCAD. Uh, in AutoCAD, you will learn how to produce 2D technical drawings, and then after that, you will switch to 3D uh, modeling of mechanical parts using either Pro Engineer or SolidWorks. Uh, students will also uh, learn t different applications on CAD CAM and finite element analysis using uh, different tools like ANSYS, Nastran, ADAMS, and Dell CAM. Uh, we also have access to different mechanical testing labs where you can uh, perform assessment to different materials during your projects, uh, like the tension compression testing machine, the fatigue impact testing machine, and also the hardness. Uh, and also you have access to the technical measurements lab with different uh, high precision uh, measuring equipments uh, available in the technical measurements lab. There is also the flexible manufacturing system lab known as the FESTO lab where you have uh, different CNC turning and milling machines and an industrial robot for material handling. And here you can produce high precision components like chess components, for example, using the CNC turning machine. Uh, other manufacturing facilities include the industrial uh, park, and in the industrial park, you have different machineries uh, that uh, you can see during the semester, during the different courses, and also you can have your internship or even work in the future in the industrial park. Uh, career opportunities, you have different uh, opportunities to work in different fields. Um, Maybe this is one of the interesting points. Uh, design and production engineers can contribute to a huge number of opportunities uh, and have uh, different engineering applications such as automotive engineering, for example. So you are able to, to work in the, in the future in automotive engineering, in the manufacturing and in the assembly line. Uh, also in the oil industry, either in the production services or maintenance. Uh, computer dedicated manufacturing like CAD CAM and CNC and industrial automation also is one of the fields for uh, graduates from this uh, major. Um, you can also work in the design, production and manufacturing of wide varieties of what is known as household appliances and fast moving consumer goods. And uh, you can also work in the future in the management of production lines and production uh, facilities and in the quality control. Uh, also applications available in sustainable and renewable energies and heating and air conditioning is also one of the fields. And fi finally, uh, aerospace and military application either in the design or the production of the components. Uh, what are the graduate uh, values? Uh, what distinguishes you as a graduate is what unique tools and capabilities you possess. So the more professional resources you acquire, the higher is your value and consequently your opportunities. So uh, as a summary at the end, a graduate from the major engineering design and production technology have also many other uh, future opportunities. Uh, they are well prepared for easy integration also in MBA programs and also a huge number of and diversified postgraduate courses and master programs in Germany and abroad. Uh, they possess intellectual and research skills for working in national and international uh, research institutions and they are on the track for many possibilities of getting international certificates, certificates uh, as uh, specialized engineers and consultants, example, uh, international welding engineer, and they have the assortment and diversity for working in any technical and industrial field and have the ability to compete uh, in diversified engineering and high technical applications. This is all for the major. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Please be quiet. Please give me only 10 minutes to explain what's meant by mechatronics. Okay? Please keep quiet. Otherwise, I will not present mechatronics department. As you know, the Faculty of Engineering and Material uh, of Engineering uh, uh, of uh, Engineering and Material Science consists of, of three departments. The, the first two departments are represented by Dr. Ahmed Abdelaziz and Dr. Mohammed Harraz. The third one, which is a mechatronics, will be represented by me. As I told you, I am Professor Imam Morgan 
head of mechatronics bar. Now mechatronics department can be indicated by this figure where everything can be automated. And mechatronics department, what is the meaning of mechatronics department? What's meant by mechatronics in general? Mechatronics engineering consists of multidisciplinary uh, uh, way of teaching. It is new branch of engineering that combined both mechanical engineering, electronic engineering, computer science, as well as control and dynamics. These four, these four uh, courses are mechanical, electronics, control, and computer science, representing what we call mechatronic system. What is meant by mechatronic system in general is a mechanical system in general that can move under electronic control by using what we call computer science. That's why mechatronics engineering is multidisciplinary one. And this, for this uh, reason, the department offers different uh, branches of teaching. For example, they, they offer uh, engineering mechanics, okay? Engineering mechanics because we are mechatronics engineering. Also, we have to control what we call thermofluid systems, and we have control and dynamics as well. At the same time, we have to automate something. Therefore, we study industrial automation, and the main heart of our study will be mechatronics engineering. And at the end, we have to find what we mean, electronics and communication and computer science. Okay, now we can divide according to our speech. How can, uh, what are the courses which will be offered for you during your start, starting from the second semester? For example, concerning the mechanical engineering courses, we start by second year till 10th semester. Second semester till 10th semester, we have approximately 14 courses that cover all the mechanical engineering courses. This is, these courses are offered by the staff of mechatronics department with the help of material and design department as well. Okay, second part of study concerning electronic systems. These courses, approximately nine courses, are offered by the staff of uh, Faculty of Information, uh, uh, Engineering and Technology, it means IET faculty, uh, very uh, uh, expert uh, professor, they offer these courses only for mechatronics students. That's why you will be familiar with electronics as well. At the same time, you can take several courses in computer science, not CS courses, okay? But however, we have five computer courses. These courses are very, very essential for you as mechatronics engineering because at the end, you will be able to deal with any commercial software in the market. For example, at the end, you can deal with such kind of software, it means AutoCAD, Pro Engineering Solve, and so on. These softwares are very important in order to help you as mechatronics engineering, uh, uh, mechatronics engineering one. Okay, now what about control and dynamics? We have ab about nine courses for control and dynamics or 11 courses Bardo of offered from mechatronics engineering staff. Okay, uh, starting from the fifth semester to the tenth one. That's why we can distribute the distribution of the courses offered by three different engineering faculties. The first two parts which represent half of the courses will be represented by the staff of MSDR, it means Mechatronics Engineering, and then IET and MET faculties will distribute, will contribute into the study in the Mechatronics program, and besides the basic science, for example, physical, physics department, mathematical department, and so on. That's why we can call that mechatronics engineering is multidisciplinary one, okay? Now, I will explain in short 
details was meant by mechatronic system. Everything in life now can be called as mechatronic system. For example, you have what we call industrial rope. Do you know what's the what's, uh, what's function of industrial rope that works well in any factory? Now, we have mobile robot as well, and we have what we call car mechatronics. Do you know that? Do you know now? For the nowadays cars, everything is going to be controlled using some sensor technology. That's why we call it car mechatronics. And at the same time, you have what you call electro-hydraulic control, as you will see as an example in the next slides. Okay. This is types of, for example, what you see in the, in the life. For example, for to buy a food. What's going on inside this machine? What's going on inside this machine is, all, is, is actually a mechatronic system. And instead of doing some, some silly work like that one, mechatronic engineer can design a mechanical system that can say, do the same, the same function. The same for uh, entertainment. Okay, and the same also for fuel uh, in the car. You can design the system that automated everything in life. The same, now we speak about evolution of mechatronics, starting mechatronics engineering by one stand component like washing machine, for example. Then we develop the system by, now, you see, now in our days, as I told you just one minute ago, we have a car mechatronics and you have airplane mechatronics. Everything is going to be automated. And now for nowadays machines, we can call what is meant by factory future, future factory. Future factory, everything in this factory is done by automation, starting from design process, production process, and then assembly process, and then the finally checking or test the process. This is all, all done under automation. Okay? And the last thing, but not the last, is the new approach called nanorobotics. We are not dealing with robots that can behave as a human. It means it is called an artificial intelligence system. Now, concerning the nanorobotics, it's very small robot that can move under control. It will be explained by Dr. Islam. However, the artificial intelligence system is that one that can see, that can smell, that can hear, and he can make a decision also as well. It is the most intelligent system in the world till now. Okay. Now, let us introduce what is the function of robot, for example. Now, you, are, you have to know that at the end of your study, you will be able to do the following. You can study such complicated system. You can model it. You can make its mathematical model. You can control it. Scale, it is what we call industrial robot. The same robot can be used for the three or more functions. He can be used for painting. He can be used for uh, assembly or even for handling. Only by changing the program and the change by the end of factor of the road. This is an example of medical case. Now there is another kind of mechatronic system called walking robot, like something like this one. Or perhaps this one. And the most important is this one. It is the Boston, okay? It is the Boston uh, 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 working robot. It's the most important feature of this robot that 
it can respond for sudden shock. Okay? So it can be named as artificial system because it makes decision. It responds to sudden abnormal shock. He can move in an incline. He can work on any different cases. Now a very interesting machine that we can call it mechatronic system. You see this machine, what's, this, what's the function of this machine? Is to cut the tree from the base and then to clean its surface and then to cut it into equal pieces. That is done completely by you. You can model the system. You can design the system and you can control the system. But at the end of the five hard year war, okay, you have to know it from the beginning. Okay, I will not show you this one because you are working in this project. It is an automated chair. You will see later. Now I will show you only two examples from the bachelor thesis done by our mechatronics students. For example, do you know what's meant by? Dancing fountain. There is the music there, but however, we are, we are Nancy Agram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is this fountain, what's the meaning of dancing fountain? We can control the flow of the water of the liquid in general. Colored one, we can control the flow. We can control the quantity according to certain sequence, according to the certain song, for example. OK? Like what you see in uh, Dubai Tower, for example. This is a kind of what we call dancing fountain. There are the guys who, they, who, do, who did the bash. Now this is, this robot is uh, having uh, almost about 22 degrees of freedom. Do you know what's meant by degrees of freedom? 22 different kinds of motion. Okay? Approximately it nears the human body. This robot was constructed by Mechatronics uh, students at uh, the uh, last conference of ICET. Uh, done in uh, executed here in at GC. Okay. Last project. Is this uh, remotely operated vehicle? This vehicle can move in the in X, Z, and Y directions can rotate about Y direction, okay? It is completely EGMA controlled. It can be used for several EGMA, for several objects. It is a much larger thesis. This is a simple mechanism. It should be designed to work as a finger. Okay, EGMA, as a finger only by piston head. This is done as bachelor thesis. The last figure you will see is its application. Of course, uh, with cooperation of applied arts uh, faculty, we can cover this hand, okay, by a uh, skin by something like skin, material side. As you see, the hand can do several, uh, several functions. Now the big event was carried, was carried out, was happened four, four months ago. Mechatronics now is accredited, accredited by a Queen Accreditation Agency. It is International Agency for Accreditation. Now we accredit it. 
we can speak about after presentation we can speak about now you are uh, will familiar you, you are you, you can do everything outside now using your certificate okay that's all okay for mechatronics and you can thank you very much and my office is c7 c7 one 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 not nine one 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 okay it is only one 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 c7 one 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 you can come anytime except Thursday and Saturday as well thank you very much Thank you.